Hey, welcome back to our Hungry Adventures. Guys, just recently I've returned to Bangkok and as some of you may know, one of my favorite things to do in Bangkok city is of course exploring local markets. And floating markets take a special place in my heart and there are several reasons for that. Of course, in floating markets you can find the most authentic and original Thai cuisine, local street food, local snacks, local desserts, fruits. Mm. Here you can enjoy local vendors cooking and selling these dishes in traditional Thai boats along the canal. Also, quite often, floating markets are connected with Buddhist temples like this one, for example. So it is a great place to get closer to Thai culture. And today we'll be exploring Wat Takian floating market, which is one of my favorite Thai markets around Bangkok. Because it's completely unknown for foreign tourists, it is not heavily promoted on social media, so every time you're coming here, you're feeling this authenticity. So it is a really ideal place for all Thai food lovers. And today, if you have got some time and empty space in your stomach, and you're ready to waste your precious time together with me, you can join me in this hungry adventure. Let's go. I have just entered it, but it's already so hot. Luckily, there are so many fans and they, they've installed some sprays. So they are spraying water all over the place. So you kind of feel a little bit cooler once you get closer, but a little bit more wet. <laughs> Ron Chemai. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the only person, not only foreigners feeling hot in, in, in markets and actually in Bangkok. Yeah, it is unbearably hot. It is hotter than Indonesia, it is hotter than Malaysia. Ooh. And the rainy season has just begun, so it's gonna be a little bit cool in a few weeks. How are now? Yeah, we gotta We gotta be brave. We gotta go through this. Anyway, guys, everything you see on the left, on the right, it's only food. So I just don't know where to begin. นิ่งๆชิ้นทาร้ายครับติดตาโอเคก็ได้อะคะนมกับข้าวเหนียวมีมั้ยครับกระเหนียวมดอ่าโอเคโอเคอันนี้ก็ได้ครับเอาเอา
ป้อมกี่มอเตอร์ไซค์ใส่ไม่ได้ซีรีส์ยังโอเคโปรตีนมีคุณแม่ไม่เอาถุงโอ้ยไม่ไม่เอาถุงครับอู้ได้ไหมโอเค So let me try the yellow one. Smells funny. Mm, very sticky. A little bit dry, but delicious. Very sweet. I love these traditional Thai desserts. They usually cost five baht, ten baht, fifteen baht. And they're absolutely enjoyable. สวยมากใช่ไหมครับโอเคเชิญเลยค่ะขนมผัดกาดข้าวผัดขนมขนมขนมขนมขนมคืออะไรครับขนมผัดกาดขนมคือขนมหวานอะอย่างเงี้ยขนมหวานขนมผัดกาดผัดผัดเหมือนผัดไทยอ่า reddish cake reddish Delicious Isan sausages, and everyone is waiting for for their turn to try. You see, guys, this is the line. I think I gotta come back a little bit later. This sausage is really worth it, but we can try somewhere else, something else, somewhere else. Ah, uh, it's very hot. My brain's not working. <laughs> Check it out. They've got k a o l a m here. b u t h e y have any k a o l a m right, ครับเขาลำเขาลำเอาอันเดียวเอาอันเดียวสีขาวกระดำสีขาวกับสีดำอ่าฮะอ่าสีขาวสีดำสีดำก็ได้สีดำดีสำหรับสุขภาพใช่ไหมครับเดี๋ยวเดียวเดียวเดียวเดียวเดียวเดียวเดียวเดียวเดียวโอเคได้ยังได้ยังโอเคขอดูได้ไหมครับโอ้นักกิ้งนักกิ้งพี่ครับเขาลำอาคารเชียงใหม่เชียงรายใช่ไหมครับไม่ใช่ของกาญจนบุรีกาญจนบุรีอ่าเมืองกาญเหรออ่าเพราะว่าผมเอ่อเคยไปชิงไม้ชิงไรไม่ห้องโซนถนนถนนมีรันเล็กมีมีเขาลำทุกที่อ่าอันนี้ไทเก่งไหมขอบคุณครับอันนี้มาจากกัญชนบุรีใช่ค่ะอ๋อโอเคโอเคถ้าอร่อยครับ40บาทโอเคโอเคขอบคุณครับเก่งจะไปกินจะไปกินเก่งกอบมากครับ Quite often you can see if you ever travel to northern Thailand you might have noticed on the road uh, small grill tables and local people are grilling these bamboo bamboo shoots bamboo stems this food is called k a o l a m basically this is just uh, sticky rice 
with beans inside, sometimes with uh, uh, with banana. Pee, pee, hap. Tini mi kloy mai, kloy mi mi, chame hap. Kloy, kloy mi mi, mai sai kloy. Aha. Yeah, this this one is with, without uh, without banana. Yeah, so it's sticky rice with beans. It's supposed to be beans inside. But they say this one is from Kanchanaburi, so let's try how does it taste, the Kanchanaburi style kaolam. It's just way too hot to eat it right now, so we get to wait a little bit. Meanwhile, let's grab something else. Something interesting. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? I want to eat. Okay, I want to eat. I want to eat. I want to eat. Alright, finally I found something. I completely don't know. I thought it's some sort of noodles, like chicken noodles. However, the broth looks very thick and they add some extra ingredients, which I don't even know. Interesting. If you don't know something, you got to try it. <laughs> Side eye, huh? Scan, they make up. Scan. Scan. Ron, my. I need chia like up. I can't chia like up. Medain. Kapokpa. Kapokpa. Ah, okay. Kapokpa. Kapokpa. I don't know what does it mean. Let's try to find out. So what is this? Yeah, definitely some noodles. This, this is probably a chunk of blood. What else? Probably chicken. Looks like chicken. A little egg. Quail's egg. What else? This, I have no idea what this is, silver mushroom or something else. And as you see, the broth is very thick. Maybe they added some flour or maybe some thickener. It really reminds me of uh, another traditional Thai dish called ratna. The thickness of this broth. But anyway, let's mix it up and try it. Mmm. Mmm. Chicken, mushrooms, noodles. Just like a proper... Just like a proper dish. Interesting, interesting. Never tried it before, I think. I cannot say that it is extremely tasty, but it is worth trying. Otherwise, you'll never find out what kind of Thai food you like because there are so many, so many Thai dishes in Thai cuisine. But this one is more interesting. Sticky rice with red beans grilled in bamboo, in bamboo stem. Mm. Sweet and salty for some reason. This is red rice, or so-called rice berry, black rice actually, which has like 100 times more vitamins and antioxidants than the regular rice. And there is a lot of it in Thailand. 
Mm, very fresh, yeah. This one I really like. นิ่งใหม่เท่าไหร่ครับรายละ15บาท15บาทชี้ใหม่ได้ไหมครับได้ครับขอเปรี้ยวลูกเอาทรงไม้เปรี้ยวทรงไม้เปรี้ยวได้ไหมครับโอ้ไม่เปรี้ยวเดียวเลยอ่าโอเคไม่เปรี้ยวหมดไปแล้วนะโอเคโอเคกำลังจะสาบไปเปรี้ยวอย่างเดียวครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับโอ้ a lot of vegetables ขอบคุณครับ Every time I visit this market, I buy these sausages because they are simply outstanding. Probably they've got some secret recipe, and maybe they uh, marinate the meat in some special way, which is why it is so tasty, which is why they always have lots of customers. Ah, very hot, very hot. Mmm, sour, my favorite. So good. the taste of Bangkok. <laughs> People will show me. Thumbs up. Yeah, man. <laughs> you know what to try. Not some pad thai. Try everything you don't know. And delicious is some sausages. This way, you'll get to know Thai cuisine much better. God damn it, it's so tasty. I have completely forgotten how hot it is to be in Thailand. <laughs> how hot it is to stay outdoors in the afternoon time. Just insane. I'm literally swimming in my sweat right now. Can't eat anymore. Can't eat, you just don't feel hungry when it's that hot. But no, 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 hungry eating machine is never broken. <laughs> สวัสดีครับกาแฟโบราณมีไหมครับกาแฟโบราณเอากาแฟโบราณไม่หวานไม่หวานครับไซนมไม่เอาน้ำตาลเนาะไม่เอาน้ำตาลไซนมก็ได้แต่ไม่เอาน้ำตาลครับมาตั้งแต่เช้าแล้วมาตั้งแต่เช้าแล้วมาถ่ายรายการของตัวเองหรือมาเที่ยวมาเที่ยวมาเที่ยวมาตั้งแต่เช้าแล้วเจ้ามีคนเยอะมาคนเดียวใช่ครับประเทศอะไรรัสเซียผมอยู่กรุงเทพอยู่กรุงเทพเท่าไรครับ25บาท deliciousness oh deliciousness oh เย็นสบายสวัสดีครับพี่อันนี้ดูเรียนปลาอู่เหรอเพราะว่าผมผมผมเห็นมีราคาสามร้อยห้าสิบบาทผมคิดว่าทำไมทำไมเพ่งอ่าปลาอูอ่าคุณจะพรีเมียมพรีเมียมอ่าโอเคฮะ
ผมผมผมรู้รู้เพราะว่าผมเคยไปประชวบจุดปลาปลาอูเอเรียมีช่างเยอะๆคุณอยู่ประชวบใช่ไหมครับอ่าโอเคโอเคเพราะว่าปลาอูมีฟาร์มผมเคยไปมีมีฟาร์มมีดูเรียนต้นไม้เยอะๆใช่ใช่แสดงว่าอยู่เมืองไทยนานแล้วใช่ไหมคะพูดกี่บ้านเลยพูดได้นิดเดียวนิดเดียวมาจากไหนครับมาจากประเทศมาจากรัสเซียรัสเซียใช่ปลาอูสิบปีแล้วสิบปีใช่ Guys, this is p a l a u durian, the most delicious durian I ever seen in Thailand. Yeah, more delicious than g a n y a o more delicious than m o n g t o n g It's like mm, the king of king of fruits. It is expensive here because here the price is 350 baht, 100% no smell, 100% premium durian. You see, they are just like little babies. ผมอยากซื้ออันเดียวได้ไหมครับอันเดียวได้ไหมไม่ได้ใช่ไหมครับเล็กๆก็ได้ร้อยแปดสิบาทร้อยแปดสิบาทมันไม่ได้มันอ่าฮะมันในเนี้ยค่ะอ่าฮะมันทั้งหมดมันร้อยเก้าสิบแต่ว่าคิดแค่ร้อยแปดสิบาทอ่าฮะอันนี้หนึ่งร้อยร้อยแปดสิบร้อยแปดสิบโอเคโอเคเขาได้ปลาอูดูเรียน the most amazing durian in my life you probably have heard about h u a i h i n city it is a city popular with uh, international tourists it is city popular for Thai residents living in Bangkok they often come there uh, for weekend yeah to enjoy the sea to enjoy the beach however if you take a ride to the mountains uh, to the west yeah one hour drive To the mountains close close to Myanmar border, you will find the area called p a l a u There are wild elephants walking along the road. There are many beautiful farms. There are waterfalls, and it is the area where people grow the most amazing durian in Thailand. It is called p a l a u And in this farm, one kilogram of durian cost around 200 baht. At least it was two years ago. Last year, when I did uh, a tour to southern Thailand on motorbike, on the way back to Bangkok. I stopped on the road and bought two big durians. And price in h u a h i n on the road, on the highway, was 300 baht. Here the price is 350 baht. So it's not actually much higher comparing to what I bought uh, on the road. So it's still pretty acceptable because in shopping mall, in h u a h i n shopping mall, they sell it for 400 baht one kilogram. In local shopping malls in Bangkok, they sell it for 600 baht one kilogram. Here, 350. No smell, absolutely no smell. However, if you want to get, if you, if you'd like to get to know what durian is, you should start with Palau because it has no smell. However, you can taste this creamy, oily texture. Sorry, guys, I'm drooling. Oh, <laughs> it's just like. No words needed. This is just absolutely amazing. Absolutely fantastic taste. Chai, p a r a n k i n durian, yo yo. Really, really good. It is a little bit crunchy, but still oily and creamy. Mm, the smell of vanilla or strawberry is just crazy. Yeah, for 99%. The population durian has quite mm, disgusting smell for many people. Oh, one percent of population of the world can enjoy the king of fruits here in Southeast Asia and especially in Thailand. Wow! But it's crazy. With these little pieces, 180 baht. But it was worth it because you don't eat premium durian quite often. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. We're going back into the game. We're going back to normal. Yeah, more 
uh, Thailand videos are coming very soon. Hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next episode pretty soon. Feel free to write in the comments what would you like to see in Bangkok in the next couple months while I'm still in Bangkok before our next motorbike tours uh, will begin. I'm always happy to see your suggestions and your ideas. Alright guys, bye bye.